Hey everybody, it's Tessa here, your friendly neighborhood ENEL 487 lab instructor. Um, I'd like to apologize for my voice. Um, if I sound a little bit sniffly or if I'm coughing, um, for some reason in the last little bit my allergies have really flared up. So that's kind of why that's going on. Um, so what I'm going to be doing in this video is showing you how to use Git Bash with Bitbucket. So basically, um, what Git Bash is going to do is it's going to um, it's going to clone a repository from Bitbucket onto your local machine. So I uh, guess let's get started. So first we're going to boot up Git Bash. So when it boots up, this is what you're going to see here. So if you go ls, that's going to list everything that's currently in like currently in the folder that you're in. So for example, I'm just in my general kind of root directory. So that's why you can see literally everything on here. So just for simplicity, I'm going to be navigating to my desktop here. As I saved it on my desktop, just, just for simplicity for this video. So to do that, you're going to change directory. So CD desktop. There, so now you can list everything that's in there. So, um, so the folder I'm going to be using is this one right here, this ENEL487 lab git bash. So I'm going to cd ENEL487 lab git bash. So, oh, so as you can see, it's an empty directory. There's nothing in there. So this is where I'm going to be cloning the reposit my um like Bitbucket repository to. So I'm just going to put that there. Now let's go over to the side. So, um, let's let's make it the big one actually. Okay, there we go. So now we're going to make a repository on Bitbucket. Um, so it's the plus sign create repository. Um, so repository name. I'm just going to type in E N E L four eighty seven Herzberger because that's my last name. Um, it's fine if it's a private re repository, just make sure that you share it with me so I can actually mark your, uh, mark your code. Okay, so I'm just create. So now after you create your repository, then you're going to get a screen that looks like this. Um, it doesn't really matter if you use SSH or HTTPS. Uh, I prefer using HTTPS just because that makes sense to me. So just right click and copy that link here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Git Bash. I'm going to paste it. And again, I purposely made this ENL487 lab Git Bash folder. So if we go, if I go to my desktop here so you're gonna see I actually made this folder all I did to make that just right click new pivot load there we go right click new new folder so this is pretty straightforward so that's how I made that so let's keep this kind of open so you can see what I'm doing so this is my git bash folder like my ENEL lab git bash folder and over here is my git bash so there, so we're going to clone the repository into here. So as you can see, a folder now appeared here. Um, so if I click on that, you can see there's a git folder. So now that folder is actually linked to Bitbucket. Uh, it's linked to my ENEL 487herzberger.git um, Bitbucket repository. So there's a warning here, you have cloned an empty repository. Just ignore that, that's not a big deal. Okay, so let's say you want to push something uh, or commit something, I should, rather I should say. Say you want to commit something and then push it to your, um, bit, uh, to your Bitbucket account. So how are we actually going to do that? So right click and let's say you actually here, let's say you want to make a text file. Oh, oops, that was my bad. Okay, let's say you want to make a text file. So right click new. Um, so text document, so I'm going to call this, um, demo document.txt. 
Now if I go in this demo document.txt, um, then I can just I'll just type whatever I want. So hello. So let's say that's what I want to type. So I'm going to type, hello, your friendly neighborhood, ENL487 lab instructor, Tessa here. Okay. Have a great day. Then a happy face. Okay, cool. So now make sure you file and save that. Close out of that. Now just to go back, so you can see everything I typed in is right there. So now how do we get that from here? from this folder here over to Bitbucket because there's nothing in here. So here's what we do. So you can go git, so I'm typing down here, so git add, and you can type in, you can either do, like, you can put all of them, if you want to push all of these, or sorry, commit all everything to Bitbucket, you can do that. Um, just because there's going to be project files and everything, I wouldn't recommend that, so I'm going to just go git add demo document.txt. So that's the file that I want. Oops, um, so that was my bad. So it's actually, I'm actually going to want to, here, let's list. Okay, so I'm going to want to change into that ENEL 487 Herzberger directory. Okay, so now I can add that document. So now I've put this document in what's known as the staging area. So think about the staging area like like it's the file is waiting for a commit. Now you can go um, git commit minus m So and this is so basically the commit so the git add just um, moves it to that staging area. The git commit that's actually um, that is where we're actually going to be committing the file. So now you're going to want a commit message here. Um, you're going to want something like a useful message. So I'm as I mentioned in the labs. Um, a useful message is something like initial commit or um, uh, added uh, readme.txt or something like that. So in this case, I'm going to say init initial commit added uh, demo document.txt. There. So basically, this is going to be your commit message here, right here. So, bam. So now that's good. So now your commit message is made. However, you haven't actually pushed anything to Bitbucket. So think about pushing to Bitbucket as in like, it's like the final kind of literal push or shove to finally get it on Bitbucket. It's kind of a good kind of metaphor to use. So now you can go get push. Uh, it might take a minute. Hey, there you go, and it's 100% done right here. Cool. So now if we go over to Bitbucket. I'm going to go into my repository here. You can see my demo document is in there. And if I click on that, uh, there we go. Yeah, so you can see what I typed in, what I typed in this document over here. So I typed, there it's your friendly neighborhood, ENEL487 lab instructor. So you can see that's all right there. And I've got, have a great day. It's the exact same thing. So yeah, that's basically how you push things to your Git repository. Uh, sorry, your Bitbucket repository using Git Bash. Uh, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions in either the comments or um, just come see me or something like that. So yeah, uh, I guess that's about it. So yeah, thank you for watching this video.
and I will see you in the lab session. Okay, thanks. Bye.